Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of 4 Wide with Declan. As always, we will be discussing NASCAR-related topics, so let's get right into it. Our first topic is Riley Herbst getting his first career Xfinity Series win. So, Riley Herbst, if you don't know him, he has a history of getting in top-tier equipment and underachieving. He underachieved with Joe Gibbs. He's been under he underachieved to Stuart Haas the past couple of years, but with this but this this year he but this past weekend at Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway he proved all the doubters wrong. Whenever he proved all the doubters wrong, whenever he finally got his first career Xfinity Series win, driving for Stuart Haas racing in the number ninety eight. <clears throat> I've met Riley before. He's a he seems like a really nice guy. Hopefully, he can get some more wins in the future. Our second topic is that Christian Eckes, two-time winner in the trucks, or th- rather, or three-time winner in the trucks this season, excuse me, will be returning to McAnally Hilgerman Racing in 2024. So Christian Eckes has three wins this season. His first at Atlanta. <clears throat> his first at Atlanta. Second one came at Darlington. And his third, his third, and then his latest win to date came in the second Kansas race this year, the September Kansas race, not the May Kansas race, the playoff September Kansas race. <clears throat> So then, hopefully, and then it was also announced his scheme for the 2024 Truck Series season. So hopefully he can give this truck and take it to Victory Lane uh, a few more times this season and next year. See, maybe he can get a win. Maybe he could get a win later in the season in, the, in these final two races. But hopefully next year, maybe he can get some more, hopefully he gets more success in this 19 truck. Our third and final topic this week has been a bit short on news. Is that is that it, w- it was announced the Rackley War drivers for the final two races of the season. So as I talked about a few weeks ago, Matt Benedetto, fan favorite driver, has been released from his truck series team, Rackley War, and is scrambling for a ride next season. Xfinity Series... Xfinity Series driver Chandler Smith took over the seat at Talladega, brought the truck home to a solid finish, and it was announced earlier this week that Trevor Bain will be driving the number 25. Bain has made three Xfinity starts this year, driving for Joe Gibbs, the 19 car. Two of them didn't end the way he wanted to, but Bristol hit, he had a solid run at Bristol. He will be driving the 25 Rackley War Truck at Miami. And it was also announced today that Stefan Parsons, another driver in the Xfinity Series, will be running the 25 Rackley War Truck in the season finale at Phoenix Raceway. I, th- I really hope these two do good because they're proving that they deserve a full-time ride in NASCAR once again. They're trying to prove that they deserve a full-time ride. <clears throat> and hopefully they do just that. Our fourth and final topic is the Homestead Miami preview. So for the Cup Series, I have Kyle Larson, Tyler Reddick, two drivers that are really good at riding the wall. Also have Martin Truex Jr. was running good in this race last year until he got spun out. So I have those three on my favorites list, and then and then for the Xfinity series, maybe Riley Herbst, Cole Custer, Noah Gregson won this race last year, but of course he's not in the field. I feel like Cole Custer is gonna win this weekend, and John Hunter Nemechek and Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, those four will be a shot for a top five. And now for the truck series. <clears throat> Ty Majeski won last year. Zane Smith, although he, his round of eight hasn't been hasn't gone the way he's wanted it, he finished second in this race last year. 
those are two drivers that I'm looking out for this weekend. And that's it for this week on 4 Wide with Declan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye for now.